guys. So I wanted to jump on here really quickly and talk about Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan's relationship and how it's making them the laughing stock of the basketball world and how basically Michael Jordan feels, well, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Now, we all know back in the 90s, the Bulls were absolutely dominating basketball with its leader of the pack being Michael Jordan. He was absolutely a phenomenal athlete. Some would say he was the best basketball player of all time. And we all know you could be the best of the best basketball player, but you have to have others around you to help you win championships, a.k.a. rings. And this is where Scottie Pippen came in on the Bulls. He was a great wingman. Some would even say he was the best wingman in the business. So they developed a really good relationship, both on and off the courts. And off the courts, they knew each other's families. Juanita, who was Michael Jordan's wife at the time, and her children knew Scottie Pippen's wife, Larsa, and their children at the time. Now, was Larsa formally introduced to Marcus, who was 60 years old at the time? No. So it's a play on words when Larsa says she was never introduced to Marcus. She certainly knew who he was, according to the rumors. And Scotty and Michael always respected each other, never said anything bad about the other in public until 2020. That's when a documentary about Michael Jordan came out. The name of the documentary was called The Last Player. And the documentary basically highlighted Michael's career. Now, Scotty felt that the documentary only highlighted Michael and made him look like a scrub. So as a result, Scotty decides to go public and trash Michael Jordan. You have a lot of criticism about The Last Dance. I thought it was a great documentary. I felt like the documentary only told a story that sort of glorified him as a player and not glorified us as a team. You call Michael Jordan selfish in the first chapter. Why is that? I mean, uh, he was a great scorer, but a lot of things that he did uh, was based on uh, him as an individual. And I think basketball is a team game. And from that point on, Michael Jordan became Scottie Pippen's number one enemy. Even though people were saying the documentary was about Michael Jordan, if you wanted it to be about Scottie Pippen, make your own documentary. Fast forward to 2018. After 23 years of marriage, Larsa files for divorce. Then she shows up to BravoCon 2022 with Marcus Jordan, who she claimed was just a friend at the time. But after a couple more public sightings, the cat was out the bag. These two were dating. Now, the public was shocked because here Larsa was dating Scottie Pippen's number one enemy son. But the basketball world, they were shocked for a whole different reason. In the basketball world, Larsa was labeled a gold digger that would cheat on Scottie at the drop of a dime. There was a lot of cheating scandals that involved Larsa. Some of the high-profile ones were with the rapper Future, which she denied. Then there was Chloe's man, Tristan Thompson, which she denied. However, the denial didn't matter. The Kardashians, all of them, cut her off. Then there was Eric Moreland, which she denied. Then there was also the married Michael Beasley, which she denied. She even got caught at Coachella heavily flirting with Kim's ex, Chris Humphreys. And according to the rumors, these are just the affairs that got public attention. Supposedly, there's way more than that. I want to say that Larsa Pippen, the ex-wife of Scottie Pippen, why would Michael Jordan want his son with his ex-teammate, a person he called the greatest teammate he ever had, who's a six-time champion. Why would he want his son with that man's ex-wife? You know that when you knew Jordan, you was Pippen's woman and the mother of his children. So to you to transition from that, to dating his son is at the very least uncomfortable. People in the public even had their own opinions about it. Hey, Laura, that's what you're doing. You with the boy Mike, son? You a cold motherfucker, ain't you? You cold as a motherfucker, I mean. 
Now, the rumors are both of his parents are upset by this relationship. They feel like Larsa isn't the marrying type. She's constantly involved in scandals, and she has a bad reputation. Now, Marcus is hoping that his family would change their mind after getting to know her. So they both were taken back when Michael Jordan told TMZ that he didn't approve of the relationship. Michael Jordan does not approve of his son dating his former teammate slash rival's ex-wife, Larsa Pippen. So Michael Jordan was out in France and he's leaving, he's headed to his car and somebody screams to him, Michael, do you approve of your son, Marcus, dating Larsa Pippen? And she kept it short and sweet. No. Then the very next day, Marcus and Larsa came out and said, the whole thing was just a joke. Your family's history is, of course, big conversation. Have you now officially met the Jordans? Yeah, we spent, we spent Thanksgiving together uh, last year, and, you know, my family loves her. So as long as I'm happy, they're happy with, you know, whoever I'm dating. And today on their Separation Anxiety podcast, Marcus claimed Michael's emphatic no was just a tequila-fueled joke. When I saw it immediately, I thought he's, you know, just being playful. He's, you know, a little lit maybe. You know, I didn't put too much weight into it. It probably is awkward for my ex and your dad. For sure. Wow, that's a big contrast than what the rumors are. The rumors are these two aren't speaking at all after he made that comment. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Do you guys think this couple will make it? Until next time, bye for now.